Good afternoon. This is uh, Wednesday, May the 1st. Uh, we were busy in town this morning, so I didn't get to start my video. Uh, see, what all do we do? Well, we had lunch at the senior center, and we checked out the local gym, what kind of equipment they had, and that was good. And we exchanged some things at CVS, and I spoke to my lawyer about some questions about the, the closing. And now we're back home, and I'm supposed to have somebody come this afternoon to give me a estimate on painting the porch. So it's been a busy morning, but productive. This is Friday morning, the 3rd of May, and we're on our way to Spruce Pine. We're going to go look at storage buildings because we're going to need one. That's pretty dogwood. Well, we are here looking at buildings. They have a lot of nice big ones, but we just want some place to put maybe the golf cart or the lawnmower. And this is the one. This is 10 by 12. I wouldn't want red, but they can do it other colors. This is one of them we're looking at. This is Friday evening and. George has got his eye on a ground squirrel out there in the driveway. He says, wish I could get out there and get it, but he can't get out. This is Sunday morning, the 5th of May. It's 20 after 7, and we got things so we're ready to go home again. Probably can't see it, but there's fog up there on the mountain this morning up high. just see the fog and then the tip of the mountain at the top of it. Fog all down below and just that one little bit of the mountain showing. Stop the flows and look at storage buildings. Larry's having his McDonald's coffee. George is all settled in for his ride home. It's 9:19. South Carolina State Line. George is back in there. He's been sleeping most of the trip. It's 223 and 84 degrees. And we are home. Home, George. I let Larry go into Ingalls by himself in Spartanburg on the way home. And he came out with another sack of uh, bananas. He's eaten three out of here already, so we'll be eating bananas for a while, but we can have bananas on ice cream and bananas on cornflakes. This is Sunday evening and there's a rabbit out there in the yard. Right there. I don't know where George is. There's the rabbit. It looks like he's in the clover. I don't know where George is at. He's outside somewhere. But he's missing his chance to have a rabbit. I don't know if you can see how pretty the light is outside. This, it's about uh, 
7.45 in the evening, and we just had a thunderstorm. Lots of hard rain and light rain and loud thunder. George just didn't know where to hide. I saw the sunshine over there. I thought maybe there's a rainbow. And there is a rainbow. It's not bright, but it's there. See the light on the top of the trees. It's pretty out here. It's cooled down. We were out tying up the tomatoes earlier. And it was so humid, it was terrible. And we went to town this morning, got fertilizer, and Larry put 10-10-10 uh, on some of the plants. This is Wednesday morning, the 8th of May, and I harvested seeds from the broccoli. There's still more, but this will be enough to keep me busy now. We covered all the blackberries with bird netting. We just keep it on there with clothespins. There's still a lot of peaches on our tree. But a lot of them are just falling off onto the ground. We came out before the sun got on the fig tree and wrapped it all the way around with bird netting. This is the first year I've been able to get it all covered with netting so where they can't go down the top because it's short enough we could get it over. And there's lots of little figs coming. They're growing. There's some there. Now that's a hot mama. <laughs> He got boots and a dress and a veil hat sweeping off the walkways in the pool. Now that's a hot mama. Sure looks like it. It's uh, almost 6.30 on Wednesday and I'm here for the monthly business meeting. Larry's already gone in for the deacon's meeting. We drove separate. Well, my bread is done. I did it the same way I did the last time, and this time it came out perfect. So you just never know. Well, we're going to lose our princes in the pea bed. This box brings a mattress on top. We're going to wrap up and take to North Carolina with us tomorrow so we can have them for the new place. We got the mattress and box springs in the back of the truck in the bed, all wrapped up and tied. I say we, but Bonnie and her husband came and did all the heavy lifting most of it. Tied and helped us wrap it. They were just a real big help. We're, we're not worn out and hurting now with men it's in there. And it took about a half hour. As Larry and I had been doing, probably been an hour and a half and we'd been mad at each other. <laughs> so this was a lot better. The guest room is back to normal. Just a regular bed now. I like my little bear. I got two other big pillows to go on there, but I'm just going to try the small ones for now. There's my pretty swag that my friend in North Carolina made me. Got it all hung up. I think it's so pretty. Fits right there nicely. Our granddaughter Arabella graduated from the College of Charleston yesterday, Friday the 10th. She worked hard and she did it. If I remember correctly, her degree is in forensic anthropology. <laughs> Limb fell out of the tree here by the road. Part of it's good for firewood, so Larry's getting it. A little bit of it. Dang it. Well, you see my flowers are starting to bloom now. Lots of bees on them. There'll be even more been another week. It rains so there's water in the bird bath. There's a pretty one. Well, they're all like that. We're loaded up and ready to go back to North Carolina.
It's 719 and 56 degrees. And we're headed out. We're here at McDonald's getting sausage McMuffins for our breakfast. Well, here we are on the other side of Marion, <clears throat> into the mountains. It's 1.41, we made pretty good time. And I got my chauffeur. Well, you did most of the driving. You drove all the way to, halfway to Spartanburg. Well, we're here and everything's fine. Didn't have any problems getting the mattress up. There wasn't any rain. So we're gonna take it over to the new place at four o'clock and leave it. Got a rug down in there to put, take. But next time, Memorial Weekend, the flowers will be on sale. So. We'll be filling these boxes, but we're here safe and sound, praise the Lord, and everything's fine. Well, except for having to replace the hot water heater and having the painters come to paint the porch tomorrow. Hopefully they come tomorrow. We're taking a shortcut that goes from uh, where we are now over to uh, my new place. So this is really pretty in here. It's a gravel road though. A lot of big nice houses here. And you can see the view of the mountains back there. Uh, I can't see. Oh, big old nice house up there. A lot of houses on this road. It goes to the middle school too at the other end. But the other the end where the school is at is paved. Once you get past the school, then it turns into gravel. Where is all these people working? They're all retired, like we are. They worked there 40 years. <laughs> oh, they got pretty deep. <laughs> Good thing it's Mother's Day is not too many people yeah. going around. <laughs> they got folks on there, it must be going to be a deer fence. This is Montezuma. It looks different coming out of it. Uh -huh. Here we are. Back to the regular road. Shortcut's over. Well, this is the property I'm looking at. Another camper about like mine, but they call it a park model. I guess mine's a park model too then. Got a deck. Some cedar trees down through there. I guess that's to grow up and block the view. Here's the camper. Rhododendron right there, and fence, and it goes around over there's the other fence. I guess it goes right there to in front of that camper and storage building. There's a little garden area, and those bushes there were blooming in the spring. Ooh, some big pine trees. I didn't notice. Oh, lots of big trees.
Yeah, there's the, the marker for the for the yard. So there it is. House next door. Must be another one down there with the hill. But it's fourth acre. And there's a view of the mountains back this way. And they got a garden area. There's another house back up there. That looks kind of nice. That looks like a hydrangea right there. That'd be nice. This might have, I think this was Forsythia, it was so big and pretty. The roof is pretty new. Here's the back of the property. Just a little area. There's the back of the camper. Here's the inside. This is the bedroom. And so that, that faces the east. The front faces east. There's a desk. There's three drawers. Up above there's one. There's amber in the door and it does have a screen, I think. Yeah, it's got the screen. Storage. And here is a washer dryer. And here there's one, two, three, four shelves and a humidifier. And there's the washer dryer, and the closet goes back a long way, and it's got a little breaker box hose up there, and there's two, four, six drawers, and in the closet it's two door. There. This is the bedroom. It's got cupboards up above. There's one, two, three, three doors up there and four windows. And this is the hallway. It's narrow, but it gets us there. Here's the bathroom. I'm silent if I can see it. It's got a regular commode and my three cupboards. There, it's got a regular tub and a little window. There's the lights up there and mirrors. It's got a really old sink. This is a hall from the other area. It's a full-size refrigerator. General Electric. Hey there. It's got an ice maker. Oh, it's rusted there. Here's the living room. It goes down just like ours. And one, two, three, four cabinets up there and a, and a cubby hole back here. Or we could keep something. And the radio works, and there's more up there. This is 
one cabinet here. And glasses. And here, dishes. This is kind of beat up. There's a lot of space under the sink. shelf in here and a stove magic chef is just like what I used to have and the sink there's the sink this is the house across the road and this is the dead end and then there's more houses down there over the bank remain no matter what. She said, I am going to do what you ask me to do. I am going to be the mother that you expect me to be. No matter how old he gets, when he turned 30 and started in his ministry for the Lord, she remained faithful. There's my son and daughter-in-law. Happy talked. Mother's Day! Thank you. <laughs> I'll talk to you again soon. <laughs> All right. Love you. Love you. This is Tuesday, the day of our closing, so I'm starting to pack things up and clean things out. Got this emptied. So, just a small beginning to a lot that's got to be done. This is Tuesday morning, the 14th, and I now own this property. This is the front yard. Oh, there's a garden spot. It doesn't go all the way to the fence. It's a quarter acre. Pretty bush blooming. I have to find out what it is. Here's the garden area. And then there's the neighbors over there, and his, that's his camper. And this is the rest of the yard. And there's my new camper in all of its glory. All the big trees above it. We brought, we're going to start moving my stuff in and the stuff that came furnished so we're taking the what they left and taking it back over to my place. I think we're going to all these evergreens I think we're going to take them up. Got a lot of hostas. Going to cut down this little poplar tree. It's don't need to be there. And the man that sold us the property gave us these flowers, put them there for us. Right here's where I'm going to put my bird bath. There's a bush blooming, it's pretty. Oh, I think that's a rhododendron. Yeah, I can cut that now. In Land Harbor, you're not allowed to cut them back, but I can cut that back. <laughs> this is the Front. I want to put a screen porch right here on this end. That's, but we use this other door to go in and out. And it lights up above there. And a slab of wood table. Larry in the truck. It's a rainy day. It's not a good day to move. And we got steps going down. This is Wednesday and we're here at the new place. Larry just washed the dishes. I've been unpacking and packing. George, there's a cat outside that George has been talking to. Not too friendly. 
and there's a bird up there. We got the bookcase brought over and the books in, so we're just trying to find places to put things. We got two new TVs. We got the refrigerator washed out this morning. It's all working. Still, it's an old one needs replaced probably. And the rest of the time, we put this cat tree together for George. This is my backyard here, the one I've got now. Uh, it's been raining and I can't go outside and say goodnight, so I thought I'd just do it through the window here. I got some a bleeding heart down there. Thank you. There's a bleeding heart down there and a lily. I think it's a lily. Something Matt gave me. So I'm going to dig those up and take them with me. But it keeps raining. There was a thunderstorm earlier. So it's just been a busy day. Well, I'll start in again tomorrow. But for now, good night. God bless. Hope you had a good beginning to May.